I'm from Kentucky originally, and I came to Florida as a Coast Guard officer in Miami as a legal officer. Jim, not only locally, but on a state and national level, really brought uh, a lot of confidence to the law firm. Norman and I met each other uh, trying some cases, uh, hard-fought cases against each other. We had a mutual respect. Jim was in the legislature. He ran for the Senate when he was very, very young, was elected, and became very popular as a local senator and really built himself a good reputation in the Florida Senate. Norman and I both had the, what today might be a luxury of, uh, we were specialists, uh, anything that walked in the door. We were uh, divorces, uh, real estate transactions, uh, title examinations. And it was based upon how they felt about you, how they felt about the service you could provide. There were times when when I would stay up all night over a $500 small claims court suit. I would say that Jim is probably one of the best friends that you as a person could have. Jim has always looked beyond partisan labels and always looked beyond the stereotypes of an issue to really understand complex public policy and then to find ways through the legislative process particularly to find appropriate solutions. When the Florida Senate was controlled by the Democrats, Jim, being a Republican, uh, was named chairman of the Appropriations Committee, one of the most sought-after committees in the legislative process. He would give the shirt off his back to you. If you needed it, he would be there to help you. He's very sensitized to the overall goals to ensure uh, what is right for uh, not just Republicans, but Democrats, not just the rich, but also the poor. And, and uh, Jim is an immensely fair man.